When we have breakthrough symptoms in a patient who's been on an immunomodulator, which steroid do I use and why? Dry eye disease is not a steady state problem. Even in people who have extremely well-controlled chronic dry eye disease, specifically patients who've been on immunomodulators for a long time, you can still have triggers that give them symptom flare-ups. They can be cruising along for months and months and months at a time and then something occurs that ramps up the inflammation. Maybe they take a flight and there's low relative humidity in the cabin of the airliner. Maybe they have allergies. Perhaps they've been working at home and they go back to the office and now they have a mask on. So they're all pro-inflammatory things. They get a flare up. What do we do? Well, we have to beat down that inflammation and to do so, we use steroids. There are all kinds of steroids on the marketplace. The Mac Daddy is prednisolone, and you can use any version of prednisolone. The challenge, of course, is that your patients may want to use that for a long period of time, and you really don't want to have them on that for that long. You can use one of the lodopredinol products. The lodopredinol products are highly effective, but what you're really looking for, I think, is that product that marries the strength of the stronger steroids along with the safety of some of the steroids that are newer developments. And I think fluoromethylone is an excellent example of that. We get super rapid relief in patients who are having flare-ups when we prescribe fluoromethylone. And we also have super quick resolution of the clinical signs that we see on the surface of the eye. At the same time, Fluoromethylone is an extremely safe steroid to be using. We don't have to worry about the elevation in intraocular pressure. We don't have to worry about cataractogenesis, especially if we're using it in short bursts. Now, when we're thinking about fluoromethylone, we have to think about what type of fluoromethylone we're going to use. Fluoromethylone alcohol is effective, but not as effective as fluoromethylone acetate. Fluoromethylone acetate seems to have the same efficacy and power as the original Mac Daddy, as prednisolone. It also maintains the safety of the fluoromethylone molecule. So if I have a choice, I lean toward fluoromethylone acetate for those reasons.